Here's where I started my uh, fairy garden about uh, almost seven years ago now. I have one of the barbecue halves over here and the other barbecue half over here. And this is what I started my fairy gardens in. And I'm going back in this area now and cleaning it out. And in between this, there was an area that I had something else in last year and the year before. I'm cleaning it out and going to redo it. And uh, this is going to be a fairy garden actually in my yard, in my garden, not in a container. So here we go. I wanted to put something sort of tall behind my fairy house. I looked around my yard and I found this container. The plants look about half dead from being over winter. I went in there and I trimmed them back, all the dead parts off. Don't know if they're going to come back or not, but that isn't the point. The point is I'm going to try to use it and I'm hoping they're going to come back. If they don't, I will just go in there and replant uh, something else in that container. I also like to put my fairy houses on saucers. I turn them upside down. They're like the planter saucers that you put your pots in. Turn it upside down for a foundation. So this is how I start my fairy gardens as a rule. As you can see now, I've put my fairy house on my saucer. Uh, I slid the house back a little bit so it's um, setting out there in the back on nothing, but you won't see it once I get it all planted. The reason why I do it this way for I can have a little porch on the front for my fairy house. I always sort of like it and I like keeping the fairy houses out of the dirt if I can and have a little room for a little patio furniture possible or something to put on the patio.